Hey everyone, Peachy out here, and we're back with another episode. And on today's episode, is actually special. This is actually going to be a sponsored video by Oxidio. Hard to pronounce, but there it is. All right, so I've been shopping around actually for quite a while. So we're going to show you guys how to inst remove, install brand new bulbs on your Mark IV GTI. Now this process works with Golfs, Jettas, Beetles, and obviously the GTI. So let's get to work because it's Beachy Al's Garage. Now if you know who Filbert is, he's the infamous Mark IV that I own for many, many years. And today, he's gonna be getting some new headlights. To be exact, bulbs and LED. Now, one thing that you guys are gonna learn about bulbs is that light bulbs come in many, many different shapes, flavors, sizes, and wattages, and styles, so, Currently, I use a 30 watt halogen bulb, and you'll see here it's tinted blue, All right? And the reason I did that is because I wanted that blue tint housing. You'll see, it's kind of hard to see, but like the bulb on the left, my high beam is yellow, and the bulb on the right is blue, and I wanted kind of that look to it, but they're not very bright. That's the thing that you guys gotta understand. Halogen bulbs only get so bright. Now. You can go in there and dump in an HID or an LED bulb, kind of like this, which, you know, can possibly work. But the problem is bulbs like this are not designed for halogen housings. So these guys can, number one, fire light and scatter it too brightly and can blind people in front of you. And it's not what we want. We want a bulb that can mimic a halogen bulb, but get the performance of an LED bulb and look good. And that's where these guys come in. Ox Isio. <laughs> these guys hit me up. They wanted to know if I can make a video for them. So we're gonna make a video removing um, we're going to show you guys how bright these bulbs are by turning off the can turning off the lighting and showing you guys how bright it is And then we're going to install these guys and see the differences in brightness Hopefully it's night and day where you know, it's super bright and nice uh, or it's going to be <laughs> exactly the same So first things first, let's give you guys a demonstration on how bright these bulbs are Get over here to Filbert and Get the car turned on and then we're gonna go over here and turn the lights off. Actually, you know what? No, that's not gonna work. Let's turn the lights off. So, bear with me, it's dark. <laughs> you see the sunset's coming. Sorry, the sun is gone, but it's, you know, setting out. We're gonna go over here. Headlight, these are halogen bulbs right now. So, these are my bulbs all the way on. Not very bright, as you can see, very dim on the outside. However, you'll notice the, the bulb is bright, it's straight ahead. It's not bright completely up and down. That's because it's a halogen bulb in a halogen housing. So the scatter pattern is not super everywhere. It's not like blinding the crud out of people in front of you. It's just right. You know, if I have my high beams on, it's brighter you'll see I got a little bit more covered see not so bright brighter okay off turn back on one more time on now let's get to installing some bulbs on this car and see if we can get a much much better brightness on this guy and you guys can see the front end both lights are on not very bright when you're using halogens now, if you're old school like me, we used to use HIDs, which were amazingly bright. 
but would have like a flicker pattern and then the, the ballast would fail or the bulb would die and then you would be there replacing the bulbs legitimately every like six uh, six months to a year you know but it wasn't too expensive so i'm hoping led is a solution all right ignore the fact that the engine bay is ridiculously dirty i live in ramona it's a dry town it's a lot of dirt let's just end it there okay <laughs> So first things first, you're gonna go down here to the back of your headlight, and you're gonna notice there's a clip. You're gonna pull that clip back, back, come on. Maybe. There we go. I'm gonna pull that out. You're gonna have a couple connectors here. So you're gonna have your high beam and your low beam. So high beam on the left over here, low beam on the right. You're, if you have fog lights, um, they're gonna be, uh, where is my fog light? Let's see, hold on. My bad. Um, high beam's over here. High beam's this guy, directly connected to the, to the harness. Fog light, turn signal. The fog light, turn signal, standard headlight, okay? You're gonna pull the harness up and out of the way. You can see there where my finger is. There's a little thing here that you push down and over. Pull that back, bulb comes straight out, just like that, okay? Now these are not cheap bulbs. These are the Philips, or no, these are Zia. I forgot what brand this was. But these are German bulbs, 30 watt, and these are these are the brightest you can get for a standard halogen bulb. I'm gonna try to set them aside right here, and we're gonna install the LED. Okay, there you go. Now notice that it has the LED chips on the left and the right and not on top. Very, very vital for you guys to understand that. Very important because when you ever have an LED on the top here that shoots straight, those guys are meant to be on um, projector lenses. So headlights with the, the lens in the inside, that's an actual projector. Don't use them. Don't use a halogen bulb inside of a projector. There's no benefit. You don't get the brightness. And you don't get that really nice beam effect. So just heads up. Everything has its uh, has its purpose. So here you go. Got to line it up. And you see there, it sits flush inside of that. That's what you want it to sit flush in there. Same in there, flush. You're gonna pull this metal little bracket over, move it over to the right. Let's see here. I'm gonna stop you guys in just. So one more time. Up close, this little metal brace right here, it's hard to see, but here is what you push down and slide it over and in. It's got a little hook, you'll see it. It's gotta fall inside the little dimple. So inside these bulbs, you see in the bottom, there's these little cracks right here. That wire has a little hook where it sits on it. That's where it puts the pressure onto the bulb. And that's how we know if it fits, that's where it sits and it fits so you can install the bulb correctly. I'm gonna install the other side and then we're gonna do a brightness test and see how much of a difference it is. All right, so now I got the bulb installed on the left and the right headlight. We're gonna go back, turn off my lights. Come back over here. 
I gotta turn off the work light. Don't wanna be interfering with the brightness here. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. It's actually not that bad. Not much brighter though. However, if you notice, it's a whiter pattern, like so it's white, like it's actually like a white, white bulb, like so light. It's not like kind of like a hazy uh, white. So in other words, like a yellow, the previous bulb had like a yellowish tint, okay? These bulbs are definitely much whiter, okay? Um, I also notice it's a little brighter. If you look at the beam right here, it's a little brighter than before, but that's what we want. We want brightness from a distance and further, we don't want it to spread out because we don't want to blind the people in front of us. And to me, that's not bad. From what I'm looking at, I mean, it's not a bad at all brightness it's not blinding number one number two it looks factory so the brightness doesn't look wrong it looks appropriate for a halogen housing now if i had projector lenses i would definitely go for a much better type of led bulb for a much much brighter um, light pattern but for this it's not bad at all i'm going to turn the garage back on really quick So for today's DIY slash product sponsorship, thank you for watching, number one. Number two, it's super easy. No hand tools required, all done by hand. I actually needed a uh, 10 millimeter to get my, uh, my charge pipe right here to come off because it's actually in the way because of my turbo setup. But if you have a factory setup, it's not gonna be in the way like that. It works much, much cleaner brightness. Personally, I think this is gonna be my keep uh, setup. I'm gonna keep my old bulbs just as spares for, for any reason the bulb, the LED chips decide to fail on them. I can have something on the side to actually bring with me and not worry about them failing. But it's impressive and how clean the color of the light coming out of it, number one. How not aggressive the light pattern or the scatter is. Um, believe it or not, I'm not a big fan at all of the raw of the right bulb in the wrong housing kind of like you know that way or the wrong bulb in the right housing you know you can look at it both ways you put the right bulb in the right housing you maximize your brightness you don't blind other drivers uh, number two it looks right it looks good it looks factory it looks appropriate so thank you for tuning in this episode of pinch house garage happy 2024 new year yo we got so much more content coming, so much more. But give me, uh, check out check out these guys' website. Um, again, Oxito. <laughs> Not bad, great pricing on the bulbs. They have tons and tons of options for light bulbs if you're looking for LEDs for the appropriate housing. None of that aftermarket LED bulbs that don't fit correctly and are ridiculously bright and potential, you know, um, it's a potential threat for people on the road and you can blind people. So don't do that. Be nice. And as always here at Pinch House Garage, we're gonna break, we're gonna fix, and we're gonna repeat. Peace out everyone and you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Deuces.